What's up, what's up, what's up, people? How we doing? Good morning. Good, bright, and beautiful early morning, everybody. What's good? How we feeling? Congratulations to Stain for being first. We stand. Welcome in, T-Bone. How we doing? How's your morning? Hopefully everybody's well. I see you came down there. We'll write you with a hat. Chilling. Love it. Um, yeah, going to be a chill morning. Going to be a chill morning. Uh, I have I have some work to get done for the Checky Awards because I want to make sure we launch those next Monday. Captions still aren't working. I haven't had a chance to look at them. Um, but I do plan on looking at them. They're on my list of things to do. Um, so in, in case you didn't know Trombone, and I'm, I'm curious to know if your other caption services are still working on other streams that use them. Um, OBS updated a pretty major update a couple months ago. And whenever they did that, everything that was a plugin that didn't update along with it was destroyed. And so Google Captions through the plugin store was also destroyed. And so I, I, had just been, I had just left it, but it was crashing my stream. And so I'm curious if like, was it still working like last week? Because it definitely wasn't saying that it was working on my end, but maybe it was working on the back end. Um, yeah. So I need to look into a new plugin is what I need to do. I'm of the humble opinion uh, that I, I think that OBS should just do that. I think as an accessibility feature, they should they should work on making that a thing. And I know that's it's freeware, so like, who am I? But I do think that should just be a thing that they focus on. Everybody had floated up just a little bit in Stream Avatar, so I just bumped you guys down. Whew! Been a long morning. Been a long morning and a long night. And a long yesterday. Hence the reason I wasn't able to look into captions yesterday, is my day yesterday was about this long, because I spent most of my morning at the uh, surgery center with my daughter. She had her tonsils and adenoids removed. She's doing fantastic. She's feeling great. She woke up this morning. She slept all night long. Now, she did wake up like every hour and kind of whimper, but didn't ever wake up all the way. She just kind of groaned and then was still asleep. Um, but feeling pretty good. Woke up this morning, took some more ibuprofen first things first, and is back to her normal self. Um, out of sense, actually checked in last night on her and asked how everything was going and uh, I was like, oh, well, she's like, you know, she goes through these spurts of being hyper and crazy and hyperactive. And then when the medicine wears off, she'll cool off and chill out for a bit. And then we'll give her some more medicine and then she'll hype back up. And so he's like, so are you telling me that pain medicine makes your daughter hyper? And I said, no. <laughs> I said, my daughter is hyper 100% of the time. Pain medicine reminds her that that energy is there. And that's just children, man. That's just kids, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how much energy a child has. I envy. Youth is wasted on the young. You know, Stained. You get it. I appreciate you sharing the heart, my friend. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm very curious, Trombone, to hear if, if uh, captions are working everywhere else. I did have to delete them. So maybe I can reinstall the plugin and just use the old plugin and maybe that'll work. Um, uh, yeah. Very weird. Very, very weird. No telling. Last night we had a, um, a Bible study on Undertale uh, where we, we watched through our very first playthrough of the very first stream on this channel. And dude... It is, it is wild. It was wild to look back. <laughs> Already shaming. Shame, shame, Stain. I, it was too easy. It was too easy. I couldn't not. I couldn't not, man. It was begging. It was begging. 
It was the low hanging fruit and I had no choice. I didn't take my um, blood pressure medicine this morning and I can tell. I can tell. Let's see if, uh, let's see, let's just look. Let's look and see if they have it. I'm, I've got my, ooh. Have you guys been using Windows 11? I'm not sure I like it. Let's go to the plugin store. Hmm. I know you can search it. Here it is. Oopsie. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I just don't know if anybody's updated it yet. Yeah, picking on the old is easy because we can't move out of the way fast enough. Exactly. You get it. Why can't you just listen? Also, Nate, I know you're trying your best not intentionally to save me captions and I appreciate your efforts. Oh, of course. And I'm going to get it working. I'm going to get it working for you. Unfortunately, I'm not a coder. And so I, I can't, I can't do it. Somebody's got a subtitler. Yeah, it'll take just looking through the plugins and and finding one that works with the new iteration of OBS. Hey, oh, what's up, Master Cat? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Also, sorry about last night. My best friend came over and started to like midnight. Hey, look, you are all good. You are all good. I'm doing some important things. Hey, that sounds great. I love important things. Important things are my favorite kinds of things. Animated captions, that feels excessive. I don't need animated. I just really want the caption plugin. Something, I, I feel like there was something with OBS, the new one, that they did that. They like built in captions. So I just need to, I just need to do it. I just need to look into it. Yeah, see there's an experimental captions feature. Audio source, I need it to pull from voice mod, English, Microsoft. If that if that worked, then that's amazing. See if that worked. <laughs> I, don't have, I have no idea if that just worked, but I um, it was in my toolbox. That doesn't sound right. I guess refresh the stream and see if they're there now, Trombone. Currently have the next two weeks off work, but I'm working on a small project. I love projects. Is it a side hustle? Is it your own thing? Are they there? Rock on. Cool. I'm glad I looked around. <laughs> I literally just had to look around. They're definitely different than they used to be. Long story short, Dead Estate is a small roguelike game that I really love that yesterday got a pretty big update. I remember you telling me about this. Me and one other guy named The Lemon Slayer are working on updating the wiki because, well, someone has to work on making the wiki up to date and we're, we're the ones doing that. Oh, that's awesome. I always wonder who are the masterminds behind the wiki. Behind the wiki, behind the... Uh, that, honestly... Netflix is going to be making a documentary in like 20 years called Behind the Wiki, and it's going to be about people like you that update wikis. And I love it. All right, we're going to get to work. We're going to get to work. 
Um, so the game plan for today is we're going to work on the Checky Awards. And once I'm done creating the Checky Awards poll, we'll be done. Um, and then we'll play some Outer Wilds. But I want to make sure that I get this stuff done because there is simply not enough hours in the day to get it done otherwise. And so I need to get it done. And the only way it's going to get done is if I do it during stream. The Checky Awards. Um, checkpoint. It's a cute little shortening of Checkpoint. Checky is our little robot um, that lurks in our Discord. And so every year we kind of put together a Checky Awards. This year I want it to be the most fun it's ever been. And um, we're going to work on the categories and things like that. So we vote on like, what was your favorite game that we streamed this year? What was your favorite blah, 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 You get the idea. The best streamed game, the best finished game, the best nerdy sermon, the best Twitch clip, the best podcast episode, the best meme, the best Discord channel, the best Nate rage quit, and the best TikTok or short are the categories that I have so far. Um, and some of them already have the things that they need, but I also asked our level two, so I'm gonna go look at their contributions and see what they made. Perry dropped several Twitch clips. Um, not going to be a good voter, voter, then you're a great voter. Perry recommended for best meme, Nate's puppets and, um, trombone Daleks. Lose the glasses plus reverse, reverse technique. Okay. I literally have only one of each to vote on. You know what? Look, you're fine. You're fine. You're all good. We're just happy that you're here. For best Discord channel, we have several recommendations. Um, DIY. Church talk. Random. Question of the day, sports ball. For best rage quits, Rogue Legacy 2, Dragon Ball the Breakers, Islets, Digimon Survive, Elden Ring. Speaking of Discord, I just remember I promised to post my art there. Give me a sec, I'm going to get it all in order. I'd love to see it. Okay. Um, TikTok, nobody said any, so I'm just going to delete that category. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Were there other ideas? No other ideas. So now it's just Twitch clips, making sure I get all of them. Does, does Google Forms allow you to put links? Surely it does, right? must we have a tiktok well technically we don't i have a tiktok <clears throat> we don't have a checkpoint church tiktok i dug my headphones out of my bag and had to download an app to be able to use them google forms allows links cool 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 cool, cool, cool. Well, my game plan is to just put the clips in so that people can click on them and vote on them the issue is is that we've done so many things this year that i almost feel like we need to like whittle it down like, for instance, have we beaten any games since this? What other games have we streamed recently? We've played a finished degree. Then you can embed things, that'd be even better. We played a finished off. Nada stopped attacking me too, so there was really no no need. I never stop attacking. I only pause. 
Um, what else have we played? Have we played anything else recently? Let's look at the VODs channel. For those of you that don't know, Checkpoint Church has a VODs channel. We post all of our VODs. Outer Wilds. Uh. Eastward. Endling? Is Endling on here? It's not. Exclamation point VODs. That would be a good command FYI to link to the VODs channel. Ooh, good call. Yeah, that is a good idea. Uh, by the way, Trombone, have you noticed there's some new emote? There's one new emote that you may enjoy. That's, that, that may make you happy to see that it's there. I put it in there just for you. Best nerdy sermon. What nerdy sermons have we had since then? Because we now officially have all the nerdy sermons of the year. I think it's God of War. And uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you see it? Did you see the new one? Took you long enough? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, we, uh, we just unlocked another slot. And so I was like, perfect. What better time? What better time than now? What better time than the present? Um, by the way, no promise that the Nerds of Prey is dropping tomorrow. I'm very frustrated about it, but my Fiverr artist has been crazy flaky. Um, I'm going with a new one, and I'm, I'm very sad about it. I love I love our, our uh, Fiverr artist. I think they do a wonderful job, but I just can't keep waiting. They just won't, won't respond to my messages. and It's very sad. I'm bummed about it. Ooh. <laughs> Should we do the best top ten list? That'd be very funny. Still waiting on a personal Dalek emote. We don't have near enough for personalized emotes. Um, would top 10, would best top 10 list be fun? I think that might be fun. Because we've done a lot of top 10 lists this year. Have we done all of them this year? Have we done any last year? Would it be all of them? Oh, Polar Express is bad. I'm going to do best top 10 list. That seems fun. That seems fun and silly. So, top 10, 97, top 10, 98. I mean, that's going to be, it's going to be a lot of copying and pasting here. So maybe I ought to just, top 10, 99, top 10, 2000, top 10, top 10, 2000s. Mm-hmm. I don't really need to keep putting top 10, do I? 2001, 2002. Why is it not auto-forwarding? Ah! Is this the riveting content you guys are here for? I know it is. 2021. Okay. Now we got to get to the weird ones. Um, the weird ones are... Oh, it's actually top 20 of 2004. Uh, top 10 games I'm most hyped for from the Nintendo Direct. Oh, it's riveting content too, not just not just riveting captions.
JRPGs. Unofficial Pokemon games. Mid-Year Reflection. Summer Game Fest. Might have been Binary Code. Right, yeah, I was secretly sending a message. Games to play without context. Sonic the Hedgehog. Xando's gonna vote for none of them. Games pastors should play. Fire Emblem. Roguelikes. Missed the boat on. Finish Omori. Yeah, Omori's in there. Pokemon games. Farming Sims. Wish I could forget in a good way. Okay, that's all the top 10 lists of the year. Perfect. All right, let's read some comments here. Okay, so before I share my art, I first need to know, spoilers, most of my art from a small project I'm working on, which is making my own Amori manual with drawings and strategies for beating every boss in the game. That's dope, first off. How much of Amori have you done? I've completed the game. What bosses have you and have you not seen? I've, I've done both throughout, so I've seen all the things. I've watched all the video essays. We're good. Um, I don't know if I've done all the optional fights myself. I definitely didn't do them all on stream, but I've, I've gone back and played through a good bit. Uh, so, yeah, I feel I feel fairly confident, but I would still spoiler your images just for folks in the Discord that haven't. If that's cool. Are there any other... I'm trying to think of any other categories. I feel like this is a pretty good game award. Best streamed game, best finished game, best nerdy sermon, best Twitch clip, best podcast episode, best meme, best Discord channel, best Nate Rage Quit, best, best Nate Rage Quits. How much Breath of the Wild have you played? Uh, Breath of the Wild would be a tricky one. I've definitely beaten the game uh, and played a good bit of it and explored. I, I mean, huh. but I feel like with Breath of the Wild, you're always finding something new. Like that YouTube channel of, that like solely exists of like 10 things you still didn't know about Breath of the Wild. They make a new video like every week. Also, hi, what's up, Faye, Hamlet? Faye Helmet? Welcome to the stream. Okay, here goes nothing. First the manual, then some more original works. Hey, I love it. I look forward to looking through them. Uh, ooh, what about best emote? Best emote might be fun. Best best checkpoint emote. Um, which would be Nate Hart. You matter. I think we all know it's going to be you matter, right? Deal with it. Nate thinking, nice. Um, hi, chats in the clap. Bonk, whoops, nope, <laughs> nope, not that word, beans. Um, hype. I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this category. No, 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 no. But I will add, I'll add chats in the clap and the greatest gamer to memes. Yeah, that feels good. And yeah, and whale crash. There's no way. I was going to suggest spoiling your images to be safe. Also, I'd love to test your manual since I'm not far into Mori. I love the idea of an Mori manual. That's super cool, man. Um, yeah. I don't know. We won't do the emote. We won't do the emote. All right, now we got to build the form. Now we got to build the form. More riveting content.
but yeah, I love Breath of the Wild Veilment. I think that's a fantastic game. I'm super excited for the sequel. Tears or Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. Make a new form. Okay. Um, this is going to be the Checky Awards. 2022. And I guess you guys can see this, can't you? There's no need for you not to. Why not? Unless it shows private information. <laughs> I don't think it shows, I don't think it shows any private information. That's what it is, I'll make sure. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, I think we're good. Okay, let's build the Checky Awards together, my friends. Checky Awards 2022. Um, form description. Uh, post your picks. For the best of the best of 2022 here at Checkpoint Church. Cool. First question. Let's, okay, all drawings sent. I'll do the original works in a sec. Awesome. We'll start with uh, best streamed game. Why not? This, is, this list is going to be crazy long. This list is going to be so long. I guess we'll just go in alphabetical order. Best streamed game. How do I make it a single choice? Multiple choice? Is that where you can only choose one required? Oh, man. There are about to be so many options, you guys. Let's go in alphabetical order. Does anybody know how to auto alphabetize in Google Docs? Is that only in Excel? Um, arrange by alphabetical order docs. No, no, within a doc. Within a doc. Don't show me how to do it. Don't show me how to do it within Google Drive. There's a difference, homie. Oh no, what happened to the clip? It doesn't like that clip. It doesn't like what you're trying to do. No, I'm not installing a workplace paragraph. No, no. Is there really no way to do it? Dude, there must be a way. Uh, I gotta copy it into sheets. Blech. That simply cannot be true. Man, I think it is. Oh, gross. All right, let's go to Excel. Oh, such a bummer. <laughs> Man. Man, I don't want to do this. Uh, let's see. How do I sort these? Data sort sheet. Hi, yi, yi. All right. Well, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> it wasn't that hard, but it was frustrating that I had to do it at all. Um, I don't know why it's not making it a hyperlink on my end. Uh, it's not exactly what it sounds like. So what I have just send is the drawings to get better looks at them. And the manual part of it with beating all the bosses with strategies is also there. But I also need to fine tune those. Also, you know, this is there, there is that a real physical manual. I'm not planning on selling it. It's just something I thought of doing. Why? Well, the real official manual is $70, 110 with shipping. So if you can't buy it, make it yourself. There you go. Wait a second. Trombo, what do you mean link it? Are you telling me that I can just link this sheet directly with the form and not have to type all of these individually? 
What's up, Tsunami Gaming? Welcome in. Thanks for your lurk. I'd love to see your reaction. Yes, I will as soon. Don't let me forget. Don't let me start playing Outer Wilds without looking at them. Don't let me, don't let me start something without. If I can just straight up copy paste these options, that would be amazing. Import questions. Oh, what? Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> what? That's so easy, homie. Why is it not in alphabetical order, though? Hmm. See, because I definitely... It's definitely in alphabetical order over here. Oh, no! What happened? Oh, it freaked out. Why did it... Okay. Look. I've got it in order. I've got it in alphabetical order right here. Copy. Paste. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. That is amazing. That makes everything so much easier. Oh, life is good. Life is beautiful. Oh, man. Make sure you don't forget. In the meantime, I'm going to send my other stuff. Yes, don't let me forget. I want to look at it for sure. As long as it is SFW, correct? Make sure it's SFW. I'll be very upset, Matt. I had a weird dream last night that they came out with a sequel called Inner Wilds that dealt with emotions and psychological states. Uh, that's called Sinwa's um, Sacrifice. That's just Hellblade, my dude. It does exist. All right. Amazing Cultivation Simulator, Beacon Pines, Baron Breakfast, Cooking Companions, Cool Math Games, Cult of the Lamb, Digimon Survive, Dragon Ball the Breakers, Eastward, Elden Ring, Endling, Endling, oop, whoopsie. Okay, Fall Guys, Feed Vid, Fortnite, Frog fac Fractions, Gardic Phone, Gree, Hindsight, Hollow Knight, I was a Teenage Exocolonist. Uh, inscription, Kirby. Okay, I probably need to say what Kirby that is. What's the name of that Kirby game? Lost World, Forgotten Land. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Oopsie. I feel like this is just too many options. Lost Ark, Lost in Random, Marbles on Stream, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Minecraft, Mini Motorways, Monster Sanctuary, Moon Glow Bay, No Man's Sky, Nobody Saves the World, Off, Amori, One Shot, Outer Wilds, Overwatch, Overwatch 2, Pixel Puzzle Makeout League, Pocket Crystal, Pokemon Dark Rising, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon White, Pokemon Wilds, Rogue Legacy 2, Shell Shockers, Sifu, Sonic Frontiers, Soundfall, Stardew Valley, Super Punch Out, Super Liminal, The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, This Gem of Mine. Uh, should I put Pokemon This Gem of Mine so people know what that's talking about? Pokemon This Gem of Mine, TMNT, then I'll put it up here. ST. Come on. There we go. Uh, Tunic, Turnip Boy, Commits, Tax Evasion, Weird West, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. There you go. That's the best stream game. I want it, I want the deal to pick one option. Is that what multiple choice is? Where they pick one option? Okay. Now I want to add another question, but I want it to be on a separate page. Do you know how to do that? Is that in settings? I want every I want everything to be one page. You guys have got to understand that I don't I don't know how to do this. Make this a quiz. Presentation. Progress bar. None of these. None of these options. I mean, I would like for it to be one response. Is that annoying though? I guess I can see emails. I don't want it to be I don't want it to be complicated. I just don't want people to have to scroll through a million options all over again. I want it to be easy. No. No. Let's go to Google. Google Forms each question on page. Creating forms multiple pages. Yes.
Oh, is it sections? Is that how you do it? So like if I make this a section, section two. <gasps> Brilliant. Brilliant, we love it, we love it. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, genius. I love you, I love you, I love you. You love putting this stuff together. That's nice to know for the future. All right, best finished game. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is this doing this? No, no. Hang on. I see what I've done. Okay, 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 okay. Does it have to have a title? It does not. Um, so let's actually... What does that do? Nothing? Okay. Let's actually... Let's actually do this. Bada. Bing. Bada boom. Alright. Because we're going to do a... We're going to do a little design here. We're going to make a little design. No problem. Alright. Now we got it. This is what we call a work with me stream, baby. This is what it means to work with me. Data, sort, A, oh no. Data, sort, A to Z. Boom jams, copy, ka-chow, paste. Ha, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, we love it, we love to see it. Extinction if forever. All right, is this all of our completed games? It should be. It should be all of our finished games that we finished on stream. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Required. Add a section. Add a question. The question is the best nerdy sermon. Nope. Okay. Did you know you can see the responses in the sheet and or with a pie chart for responses? I did not know that, but now I do. Actually, I may have known that one. Okay. Data, sort, A to Z, copy. Boom. Man, I love this. Find all of our nerdy sermons here. And then I can, let's do this. Okay, season three. What better, what better, what better, what better, no, I want the link to the playlist, there we go, copy, link, paste, bam, okay, next question, whoopsie, no, new section, New question. Uh, next question is best Twitch clip. Ugh, that's definitely gonna be the most difficult one. No, no, I want it to be multiple choice. So I can do links here, right? First has been redeemed, how? I know, it's shocking, really. All right, Nate almost deletes Chrome. Let's see what this looks like when I write input it. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like the way it looks. I want it to, I want it to bring up a clip. Is this how I see it? Preview. Uh, 
Uh, don't make me pick something right now. No, I don't want to actually. I don't want to actually answer these. Untitled section. I don't like that either. Ay ay ay. Okay, it does let people click on it, and then it'll take them to the clip. Okay, that's fine. It's not great. It's not great, but it's fine. Movie, movie game, and a gachapon. Yeah, I gotta redeem some gachapons. Okay. You really wanna you really wanna mess up this flow right now, Zando? You wanna mess up the flow? Okay. Um, I gotta redeem some gachapons first. I have, I have several in a row now. I have one for Zando, one for trombone, one for Zando, one for Zando, one for trombone. We have five. We have five gotchas in a row. Let's start with the first one for Zando. I gotta make good from a lot that I missed. Gotch Bond Machine is, is this behind me right here. This is the Gotch Bond Machine. And it has a lot of varying rewards in here. We do also have beans again. You'll be elated to know. Zando, you got the feather badge. The first Pokemon badge has been collected. Oh, one for one today. All right, now it's a trombone. Trombone, you got a celeb reads poetry. Feel free to pick a celeb or exclamation point to celeb to get it on one RNG for you. Two for two, baby. Feeling good. Feeling good. On a Tuesday. Kronk, you got it. You got it. All right, another for Zando. Zando, you got to spin the subwheel. Let me know how hard, clockwise, counterclockwise. No, two for three. Okay. Uh, and then Zando redeemed one. I don't even know who that is. I'd have to look them up. I've never seen an episode of Chowder. All right, Zando, yours is a dice roll. No, two for four. Uh, it is a health die. And then one more for trombone. Read Nate's book. Another page out of the old book. Okay. With that, we're caught up. Um, so let's do first and foremost. No, why would you do this? <laughs> I want to get back to the things. I want to do the things that I want to do. I low key didn't mind not having the gotcha bun. <laughs> it's the toothpaste bean. Ah, and now they're falling on the ground. All right, and then the one for Zando. Way too hard, way too hard. Uh, celeb reads poetry. Zando, you get to pick a celeb as well. Okay, um, now, where was I? Kronk. Clockwise power six. Let's go ahead and do that first. Clockwise power six, here we go. The bean. Matt's got the bean. White. It's another gotcha button. It's another gotcha button. It's another gotcha button. Nice sweatshirt, thanks. Jesus loves you, nerd. Everyone just throws stuff at a window all the time. I'll tell you. Yeah, four. Okay, uh, um, Zando, you got a blue Chaos Emerald there. Okay. Dope. Ah, <sighs> boy. I always am scrambling like a madman when you guys do this. Um, wrong book. Just the wrong book. Uh, Zando, did you pick a celebrity? 
and then movie, movie, of course. Kronk is going to perform lately. Let's turn on some piano music here. <clears throat> this is Lately, performed by Kronk um, from the collection New Names for Lost Things by Noor Unahar. I would break my years into pieces to find a small house of mud in agony. Some January's painted lilac. I could see the home without it disappearing. All the beautiful things still breathing. The name tree in the backyard. Red carnation flowers stayed in my journals. I've been questioning where do I fit in the whole story. Somewhere between the teeth of grief, there's still enough space for us to get out. I say, we get out. Chats in the clap, please. Okay. You said right, so I have two beans in my hand. One, it, there's no telling what they are because I don't know whenever I put them in. They could both be good beans, they could both be bad beans, but it just makes it more exciting whenever I make you guys pick. So right hand, this is the toothpaste bean. It is arguably the only good bean. Bottoms up. It is toothpaste. It is toothpaste. It is toothpaste. I don't want it right now, so I'm gonna spit it out. But fantastic. So elated that the first bean was one of my favorites. Uh, Zando, did you pick a celebrity's poetry yet? I still haven't seen one. If you want to, just exclamation point celeb, it'll pick one for you. Um, while you're thinking, I'm gonna do a page out of the mirror mural while we have the piano going. Gronk, you're kidding me right now. That's hilarious. Well, that was trombone, not Zando, so. That is very funny, though. Okay, page 34. We'll do your movie, 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 I promise. It's page 37. That's the closest one. Oh, where's my Sharpie? There it is. Okay. For those of you that don't know, I wrote a book whenever I was 10 years old. It's very embarrassing. I actually wrote three books whenever I was 10 years old. They're very embarrassing and problematic, and... Um, they just seem to get worse and worse the more and more we play. So uh, we're going to read page 37. It will be presented without context because there's no context that could make this book make any sense. And uh, this is page 37 from the chapter. It's a really long chapter. A chapter we've almost read all of. Chapter 6, titled Alpha Phase 2. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be starting from the page prior because the sentence goes over. It really is a shame you had such an interesting talent, but you know what they say. If you bite off more than you chew, you just might get frostbite. Hmm? Hexastro's eyes lit up in surprise. C cold. S so, so cold. Her body began to ice over and crystallize right before our eyes, and she frowned and glared an evil look at Nolan. It was an ice grenade, Nolan said. He then waved goodbye while winking. You, Exastro tried to say as she began to crack and fall to pieces. One win, Nolan said, for me. He then leapt off the arena and lost all his humbleness as he cheered and chanted for his win. How does this keep happening? The announcer asked. The next match, Hung Yang versus Michael. The, this guy that Michael had to fight was surprisingly normal. He looked Asian and very calm, but something inside of him seemed to roar out with aid, rage. He had on a thick grayish purple robe and had a shaved head. He had a gleam in his eye that looked like he was up to no good and appeared to have some sort of weapon in his pocket. Awesome, Michael said, but I'm not gonna use my ax yet, a normal thing. <clears throat> Michael slowly began to meander onto the arena as we all looked strangely at him, especially since he had taken such pride behind that stupid ax not 30 minutes prior. What other weapon do you have, I asked curiously. Good question, Michael claimed. I have my chain. A normal weapon! A normal weapon. <clears throat> uh, he reached into his pocket and began to pull out a long metal chain that he had found years ago when we fought for fun. He had learned to use it and master its potential, which was what made me such an excellent evader of weapons like the chain. That old thing, I asked, almost laughing at the memories we had over the adventures with that rusty thing. 
It's strong. Whether you like it or not, he winked as he looked down at my ankles. They were scarred from the brutal fights we used to have. My ankles, my ankles are not, my ankles are not scarred, you guys. Uh, he was telling the truth. He could whip some butt with that chain. That has been the Mirror Mural presented without context. Chats in the clap, please. Please. Okay. All right, all right, all right. While we still have piano up, we'll do um, Popeye the Sailor. Oh man, what did Popeye sound like? All I can think of is young, 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 I feel like you sound like my Popeye is that right? It was just real in his mouth. Okay, that's the best Popeye we're gonna get. Okay. <laughs> ah, sure, sure. Uh, okay, this is uh, a list of words that are shapeshifters, part two. Um, from the collection, A New Names for Lost Things by Nor Unahar, as performed by Popeye the Sailor Man. One eye closed, of course. Uh, failure means a buddy move before crescent. Means a tiny prayer lost its abode. Means whoever carried it is now tired. Distance means you're here. <laughs> that doesn't... <clears throat> mm. Means another way to spell your name. Means I lost you to it. Memory means nothing over dies. Means my grandmother is still alive here. Means everything I left behind is still breathing. Thank you. That was uh, New Names for Lost Things as performed. <laughs> By Popeye the Sailor Man. Chats in the clap, please, for Popeye making a special appearance today. We appreciate it. We appreciate him a whole lot. Not gonna lie, I think that was a pretty solid Popeye. <laughs> I, feel like that was, I feel like that was a decent Popeye. I didn't expect the Popeye to come out that clean, but I, I think I think it did all right. Uh, okay, movie, movie game. Mats, you are not alone in being confused here. You're not alone. Zando, your movie, movie game is this 1950s Rodgers and Hammerstein musical set in World War II Polynesia features a nurse who falls in love with a French expatriate that co-pilots a giant Jaeger robot to fight off attacking kaijus. Easy. This 50s Rodgers and Hammerstein musical set in World War II Polynesia features a nurse who falls in love with a French expatriate that co-pilots a giant Jaeger robot to fight off attacking kaijus. Now you better get that one quick. Okay, is there anything else that I'm forgetting? I think we've done everything, except for the dice. The dice roll still has to happen. I'll do that while you're thinking, Zando. Um, if it's a nat crit, then I get to pick a game. If it's a nat fail, you get to pick a game. Anything in between, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Trombone, you want me to read it once more? You know this is Zando's, right? Uh, this 50s Rodgers and Hammerstein musical set in World War II Polynesia features a nurse who falls in love with a French expatriate that co-pilots a giant Jaeger robot to fight off attacking kaijus. And it is South Pacific Rim. Congratulations. Chats in the clap for Zando for South Pacific Rim. We love it. We love it. We love to hear it. Um, musicals are not my weak point. I love them. Okay, is there anything else that happened in the chat that I <laughs> that I need to address? Or are we good to finally get back in the thing that we're here for? <clears throat> okay. You make writing. Very cool. Trombone? I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn off the gotcha pun. We have we must. We must get other things done. We must. What do you think this is? A checkathon? I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to do this. I refuse. I abstain. It's the bad one. 
I don't know if I can do this today. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this today, Trombone. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Right or left, I guess. We're going to find out if I can do it. Oh, I missed the chopped liver. Let's go ahead and get the trash can. I, I actually might vomit today. I really don't want to, but I'm already a little phlegmy and gross. Ugh. Can't even. I can't even bite. I cannot even. I can't even drink. It's so awful. It's so terrible. How does Jake eat the chopped liver bean? Ugh. It is so gross. It is the nastiest thing. Ooh. Oh, that is disgusting. You guys are clipping too many. Oh, Monk. You guys are clipping too many things. Oh boy, this is what I get for trying to do a, a work with me stream. Brr. Hello, Lonk. Okay, Google, set a five minute timer. We're gonna try and we're gonna try and put you on my left hand today so that I can actually get work done while we're doing this. Do you like working with me? Is that a, is that a thing that I mean? Are you happy to be? It's been a while. It has. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since you've been out. So I think that it's you know all in all, it's good. This man, if this man wanted BC, he wouldn't have gone into digital ministry. That's true. That's very true. Long, do you want to tell Matt's what you do? You want to tell Matt's your um your 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 key phrase? So we have four puppets here, Matt, and all of them have their own special voice and special thing that they do, except for Lonk, who only yells "Yeah," because that's all that Link really says, and so that's what Lonk really says, and that's just the end of it. Okay, let's pull up these Twitch clips. Um, Chrome, Gek. A lot of inscription ones, huh? Okay, let's see. Yeah! Sometimes he gets blasted off the screen. He does, but we don't have the thing. I guess I could turn on... It's probably dead. It's probably way dead. No? Not, Not bad. bad. So sometimes he does, yeah. Whoa. Wow! Um, I need to pull up the screen so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so sometimes he screams like he's flying off the screen in Smash Brothers, as they said. Yeah! <laughs> and that's it. And that's Lock for you. Based on Check's mess, the best clip is either Mario Kart or the Neon White clip. Or the, um, can he climb ladders? Can he climb ladders? Can he climb ladders? Trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Still want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're good. Man, I do love that Neon White clip, though. Just an emotional breakdown. Okay, the Alpha Rapidash... Um, Nate becomes a real streamer. That's my dude, bro. I just want to be done, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's that one. Bruh, the Chihuahua TikTok.
the I live to steal babies. Doing all this with one hand is actually pretty pretty difficult. You want to do what? Small BRB, dog wants walk. Enjoy dog walk. Oh yeah, that was um... Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life announcement. Which I still cannot believe is happening. Pulling a ditto. I would love to set up clips. Yeah. I would love sound drops. That would be so fun. Just a matter of getting them done. Okay. Where was I? I feel like I'm losing my marbles here. Is that everything? Interestingly, none of the clips from the Chexmas party are here. So I guess I should add them real quickly. Oh yeah, no, I have it. it just It's the time that it takes to do it. If somebody sent me all the clips, I would do it in a heartbeat. Okay, let me find the ones from the Chexmas party. Uh, let's see, where are they? Planning center. Bye, Lock! Bye, Lock. Okay. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Planning center, that's right. Okay, planning center, go do the thing. Oopsie. Sneaky was the, um, Sneaky was the, uh, Neon White Rage Quit. As was Zando, I think. Wasn't Zando also that one? I know Bwish was, Bwish and H-Man were both Candy Climb Ladders. Oh, Zando, no, yours was Stomping Kids in Mario Kart. Which I'll have to go find. I don't have that one just readily available. What is this one? Ooh. Oh, that was, um... No, that wasn't right. Uh... Man, it is tough to find all this stuff. Uh... No! No! Hush. Where are our clips? <laughs> Mario Kart. Is that it? I think that's all of them. I hope that's all of them. We're gonna say it's all of them because I need to move on. I need to move on to the next thing. Which is best podcast episode. <clears throat> We're gonna add a new section. Ba -bam. Add a new question. Ba -bam. Does it have to be called untitled section? Can it just be called nothing? It can. Uh, best podcast episode. Find all episodes of Nerds of Prey. 
here. And all episodes of the level two pod here. <clears throat> While we're working, how was everyone's day? Is your morning starting off on the right foot? Most people wouldn't go to two or three different hey, churches. Barry. If you're worried it isn't all of them, you can add in a short answer question to submit something different. Well, the only thing about that is I need people to vote. Nana, you're only going to vote once. Most people wouldn't go to... Hey, return. Yeah. Welcome back. Hey, Perry again. Nerds of Prey. Come on, bad boy. Okay. Yeah, but would it get more than one vote? Like, would it would it would it show up again? I guess it would just be that people would have to all submit the same thing and just happen to submit the same thing. Okay, these are all the episodes that came out this year. Rather than alphabetize this one, it's not that many options. I'm I'm fine just adding. Although we'll see if Frostbite actually comes out this year or not. How was the dog walk, mats? We're still working on this. But we're we're a podcast. We're almost done. We've done the we've done the most time consuming one. For what it's worth. Best meme options are uh, never finding a ditto. Um, more of this that I won't say. Nate's puppets. Um, trombone. Daleks. Uh, lose. Glasses. Plus. Reverse. Reverse. Technique. Uh, chats in the clap and The Greatest Gamer. Okay. All these are required. Why? Well, I, I wish it would just do it automatically. I know you can set that in settings, but I don't, I don't feel like going back in the settings now. Okay. New section. No title in that section. New question. Wait, am I a meme? Absolutely. I did not say such a thing. Happy Thursday! What's up, you Marwhip? Dog didn't go far, Pete and rushed back. It's too, too cold. It is cold. Unlikely that anyone clicked that unless they were super passionate about one of them. You might do better with the first, second, and third pick so it can be seen similar to ranked choice since there are so many options. Okay. How's your morning started for you, Cam? How are things going? Okay. No! Best Discord channel. All these aren't that many options, so I'm not really feeling the need to alphabetize them. But maybe I should.
You missed the chaos earlier with the return of the God Spawn Redeemed. Super tired back at work today after vacation. It is a struggle. I'm doing well. There was a lot of chaos. There's always just a little chaos on this stream. Um... We're just building our Czechia Awards today. Another gotcha upon. All right, I'm actually on the last one, so I'm gonna do this last one first. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna alphabetize everything after the year list. But other than that, I'm just gonna do the year list all at once. Best top 10 list. Okay, so now we're just going to do years. You know, what do I call you? Checkpoint Church, something else. You can call us Checkpoint. You can call us Check. Wait a second. You can call me Nerd Pastor Nate. You can call me Nate. Whatever works for you works for me. No! <clears throat> okay. Um, and then I'll link my backlog here. And then I'm gonna do... Well, maybe I'll do backlog, it's lagging. You can find all of our top 10 lists here. Cool. Okay, I think that is all the questions. So what we're gonna do now, make sure that everything is required. So I think we can see with the little red thingy, I'm gonna take all the section titles away. Let's preview it. Okay. Best streamed game, you pick your pick. Best finished game. Best nerdy sermon, you can find the sermons there. Best Twitch clip, you can click on all of them. Hopefully they all work. Best podcast episode, best meme. Best Discord channel, best rage quits, best top 10 list, and you can submit it. Boom. Cool. That looks great. We've done it. Ah, I'm sorry. We're already done. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. Bummer. I didn't do it. All right, but now we've built it. It is built and I will post it very soon. Okay. Random off topic grumble. My parents are listening to a Christian radio station. People share why they listen to the station. And someone was talking about how they struggle with anxiety their entire life, but listening to the station has brought them peace and inferred they no longer had anxiety. Oof. And I'm just over here like, that's great, but that's not clinical anxiety. Yeah. You know, people, I think people sometimes de like deal with verbiage and with talking about like, 
struggling with a like moment of something versus struggling with the diagnosis of something. Actually goes by Nathaniel. That's actually not my name, believe it or not. I think it's because my brother's name is Daniel and um, I think they didn't want a Nathaniel and a Daniel. And so since I came after Daniel, uh, they just named me Nathan. Maybe they wanted to name me. Maybe they wanted to name me Nathaniel, and then we're like, we can't. We can't do that to him. So call him Dave. I'll, you know, I probably won't answer to that, but maybe I can work on it. I can work on being better. I can work on being better. Okay, now we're gonna look at Masticat's art, and then we are going to play some Outer Wilds with the remaining time that we have. So maybe we'll make another hour in that game. We'll see. We shall see. You guys, I'm so close to 50 games. I'm one game away and two days left in the year. I really want it to be Pentiment. I do not have time. I do not have time. Uh, and I don't know what to do about it. Okay. Let's go to art. Scroll up to the top, right where it says set one underneath DLs. And all these are, are SFW, correct? You see I got a shiny Fue Coco? Rock on, dude. That's awesome. Exactly. Perfect. I mean, I know someone who has twins named London and Landon. Half the time when talking to someone else about them, they say boy or girl to remember which name it's supposed to be. See, but that's twins. That's twins. I feel like if they're seven years apart, the, the fun naming scheme doesn't work. All right, I'm trusting you, my friend. Except that one Omori boss, you know which one. Do I? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and non-spoiler him just so I can double check for me, my friend. Oh, okay. I mean, it isn't exactly fun when they're so close together phonetically as well that you struggle to tell them apart, right? Yeah, they're they're suitable for work. They're okay. Okay. We can scroll back up to the top. Website. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. All right. Here we go. Art only. This is the Omori Manual by... Uh, uh, Omori Manual. Omori Manual. It sounds like a song. It sounds like a hymn. I'm going to top off my coffee as you guys look at Pluto here. Oh, way too much creamer. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is why I just shouldn't even do creamer. Oh, Marty Manuel. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what it was. I, I said, like, Manuel. Manuel. Man, I cannot believe I did that much creamer. No. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Okay, we start off with Pluto here. Yeah. Then we have the Earth. Got the Kite Kid, love it. Mr. Kool-Aid, Life Jam. Yeah, I love that you're writing the guide. That's so great. The Load Window, Jackson, Aubrey. Man, I love Aubrey. Yep, so you go through each each and every one of them. You should not be drawing these at 1 a.m. Why are we drawing at 1 a.m.? Don't draw at 1 a.m. What are you thinking? Dancing Kim, love it. Rare Bear. King Crawler. Love it. Man. 
All the bosses. <laughs> I love Sweetheart. I skipped. I skipped. Oh, no. Oh, you made your own spin? Oh, I did skip SpaceX Boyfriend. Sure enough. No plan for SpaceX Boyfriend. Matt's. Uh, drawing dot Matt's error. Love it. Love the spin. Okay, let's see. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? King Shark. Mr. Jawsome. Love it. I think the Pluto drawing is my favorite of yours so far. It's the one I like the most. The Ghost Party. Classic. I love that you can also see the outline of the, uh, of the pen of, of Pluto in the background. The nefarious chip. The unread twins. Speaking of twins. Slime girls. Humphrey! Aw, Humphrey. I like this one. This one's my favorite. That's my favorite Humphrey. Pluto's my first time drawing muscles. They came out surprisingly good. Uh, Nate, I'm still upset about not realizing the pun of Toriel. Yeah. You should be. You should be. You should be embarrassed. You should be ashamed of yourself. No. I'm sure it's it's one of those things that's like so obvious that it goes over your head. So obvious that it's not obvious. Man, you guys, I can't even get the screen to dissolve it so much. Just keep stirring. Practically making a milk frother here. All right. Nice. Hey, still, you've made a lot of headway. You've made a ton of headway. And then we have some from off. You got the batter. Straight to the point on a sacred mission, mission to purify the world. The judge. Love the judge. You made the judge significantly less scary, and I like that. Here's something obvious most people don't realize. Waterfall is the water that falls. The citizen. That's a cat. More puzzles there. Love it. Oh, that's cool. That's dope. Yeah, that's that's definitely the favorite thing I've seen so far. I love that. Fan art I've received. Whoever is that fan is super cool. Are these, I haven't unspoiled these. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh man, that's brutal. Love it. They almost give me um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist vibes. Especially this one. Something about this one gives me Full Metal Alchemist vibes. I think it's the teeth. Three black pencils so far. I believe it. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing those. Those are super cool. I appreciate you sharing that that uh, that part of your creativity. Um, at Checkpoint, we are big enthusiasts of, uh, of using your creative muscles and genes to create and make and do new things and see new visions in the world, and I love it. So I love to see it. Thank you. Thank you again. Chats in the clap for Matt. Chats in the clap for Matt's doing wonderful work. Mas apreciando. Draw Mastica. I gotta pull him back up then. I gotta remember what he looks like. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Which one is the like the essence? Okay. Chats for maps. Alright, let me get my drawing book. And a pencil. 90 seconds. Is there anything that Matsicat is doing or is it just Matsicat? Just plain old Matsicat. And then we're going to play some Outer Wilds. So we have almost an hour and a half. Do whatever you want with it. All right, it's going to be Matsicat. Um, it's going to be Matsicat in a Checkpoint Church shirt. We'll, we'll, we'll combine the Checkpoint Churchiness of it all. Yes, it's very easy. That's why 90 seconds is almost too much time. Okay, Google, set a 90-second timer.
Do you have a mouth in this? Yeah, you do have a mouth in this. It's just a straight line. I made one ear slightly shorter than the other. Even even 90 seconds was too much time for that. So I have 30 seconds. What else should I add to it? I'm going to give you a little smirk. <laughs> Just the slightest smirk. I got 10 seconds left over. I got 10 seconds, what do I do? What do I do with the extra 10 seconds? Oh no. I don't know. I guess I could have added red accents. That might've been nice. Boom. Master Cat. You'll love to see it. Draw a heart. I didn't, but I did draw your name. Master Cat. Oh, but it's with an A instead of an E. Oh no. Noise. Noise. Slight smirk. Slight smirk. There you go. Chats in the clap. Thank you for the drawing. Appreciate it. Always appreciate the drawing racks and the doodle requests, my friends. Okay. We're going to play some Outer Wilds, yeah? We've got an hour and a half. That's a good bit of time. Not a ton of time, but a good bit of time. We did get the Czechia Awards done, and that honestly feels like a huge accomplishment. That in and of itself is a huge mungus, and we love it. Let's update the category. Oh, once more to clear view, sure. And I'll, I'll certainly, I can, I can give it to you. I got no problem giving it to you. Five, four. Three. Okay, cool. You got it. Let's update our category here. Another hour and a half into Outer Wilds. I don't think we'll beat it. I think this game is like is like twenty hours if you know what you're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't I don't anticipate this being a game that we finish on stream, especially since it's leaving Game Pass in two days. But or at least not on stream today. I mean. Um, but maybe we'll play it. We'll keep playing it because I enjoy it. Uh, I really want to solve the mystery. I want to know what's going on. So I'm engaged. I'm engaged. I enjoy it. Thanks, Jate. Thanks, Jate, for making me like a video game. Gross. Who even does that nowadays? Who likes video games? Jate is not live. Is he defying his name? Let's see if the coffee is hot. The coffee is not. Why is this not connected? There we go. And why is it not showing up? There we go. So early need tea? Nah, you're good, Sneaky. Come on. What tea are you having? What are you rocking today? Folks, let me know if the audio is too low, too high, somewhere in the middle. Oh, yo, what's that? What just happened? Homie, what? Um... Okay, well, I want to I wanna know everything about what just happened there. I'm real curious already. Maybe take a closer look at them another time. I'm putting small details in the most 
time consuming part and it's a shame to never see them. Are you talking about with your Amori manual and stuff? I would love to look more. Of course, yeah. Okay. I have so many questions. Always drink green tea in the morning. Not sure how I started that habit. This morning will be Jasmine. Ooh. All right, something is floating through space, and I want to know what this is. Rotate around. No, no, no. What are you doing? Why are you flying away from it? Why are you flying away from it? What is it doing? Stop this. <laughs> what? I don't even understand what just happened. All right. I need to I need to find out what that is. There it is. This game is so hard to control. I want that. I want that. But timing it is like next to impossible. Oh wait, that's the cannon! That's the cannon. I land on the cannon? Or do I have to like eject into space or something? Oh my goodness. This game is such a mess. Maybe I'll just crash into it. I don't know. I think I just have to go out into the, the deep dark of space. <laughs> you know, I had hoped. I had hoped that maybe... I could just, I'm just gonna unbuckle. I'm just gonna unbuckle and go throughout space. It's just too hard. It's too hard to control. Death and death. It's just way too hard to control. Métis the other morning and realized this a few hours. Ooh. Ooh. A few hours later when my father told me it was still sitting in the kitchen, luckily it was still warm. Mine is not warm. My tea, my coffee is not warm and I'm not happy about it. Yeah, we're just going out into the darkness of space because this game is too hard to control. I mean, I'm sure space is... I'm sure space is, is uh, you know, difficult. I'm sure space is difficult, you know? I'm not saying it's not. I'm not I'm not saying that I, you, you... Homie, homie. I'm not saying you should expect to have an easy time um, flying throughout space. However, this game just feels like it makes it excessively more difficult than need be. If I may be so bold. I mean, what am I even doing, right? <laughs> like, what am I even doing, homie? What am I even doing?
I know I have unrealistic expectations of what this of what this game should do. Um, I'm I'm gonna just abandon ship. Can I be real with you guys? And we're just gonna hope for the best here. I might have to wait for it, honestly. No, 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 no! You don't, you don't descend in space! You do not descend in space! You float! You float in space! What do you mean? What do you mean? This game fills me with rage. All right, can I start the day over? Yes. I mean, it just fills me with rage. The controls are so awful. They're so awful. I can't do what I want to do because the game doesn't let me. Do you want to know uh, the most crazy fun fact I know about Omori? I do. I desperately do. I want to think about anything other than this game. Yes, 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 we know, we know, we know. I just want to look at this one thing. All I want to do, all I want to do is look at this one thing, and I can't do it because the game is like, mm, no, mm-mm. We're actually going to change the rules every couple seconds, and we're not going to let you get to that thing. So the answer is no. The answer we're giving you, mm-hmm, it's no. Why am I moving? Stop. Stop it. Stop moving. Stop. Why am I descending? Why am I descending? Why? 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 Why am I descending? I'm in space! I'm floating in space! There is no gravitational pull! Why am I descending? Why am I descending? I don't even want to do it anymore. I don't even care what's on that thing anymore because I can't get to it. Because I can't get to it. So I don't even care. I don't even care because it's impossible to get to the thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're going to explore something else. I'm making myself miserable. This floaty game. Let's look at where we're at. There were a lot of things that we needed to look at still, so let's just go to one of them. I still need to figure out how to get into that thing. There are one, one starts at the gravity cannon, the other starts at the tower of quantum knowledge. I'd love to get on the gravity cannon, but the game doesn't let me. So. So. Oh, that's right. I still haven't explored Statue Island there. In the Ikikomori route, especially, or specifically, Specifically on one day left, after having gotten the strange potion from the Medusa side quest in Humphrey, go to Underwater Highway to the Deep Well. Then go up and down the Deep Well four times, then go to the Big Seashell and Underwater Highway, click it four times, you get transported to the beach area of Black Space, and said beach area you can find a girl named Taco-chan, who will disappear if you get close. This is a reference to beta characters, three characters seen in various screenshots of development in the 2014 trailer of the game. 
but those characters are only found in very specific parts of black space. However, Takashan is also a reference to the 2012 Amori Boy comics made on Tumblr that cannot be accessed anymore, but in some of the posts, if you copy paste the image uh, and put it over a black background, you can find Takashan stabbing Amori, Amori, Boy. Bo Amori Boy. I'm not sure you can find anything even more specific and hidden than that. Like I previously stated, I know everything. Um, that is fascinating. Should we go to Statue Island? I don't honestly remember how to get to these places. Still want to find Rybeck. I, I don't really want to keep exploring Giant's Deep. Wonder who was the guy that found out about that and how, right? Oh, is that where I was? So I can get back to the places that I used to be. So that's the one that teleported me to that one random spot. Ay ay ay. See, there's the thing. But I can't I can't get to it. Ah, oh, that one. I see. Maybe let's try to land on the twins. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's so many things to explore, and I want to do. I want to do all of them, but I also don't want to do all of them because it's so frustrating to fly everything. Like, thank goodness they put in an autopilot because the flying in this game is so miserable. things are what I'm clicking on. What are you talking about? I'm clicking on these. Go try and land on the twins. Let's see what happens when we do that. Let's see what happens when I land on these bad boys. Hang on, that's a that's a that's an escape pod right there. No, 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 no. Come on now, <laughs> literally just do it. <laughs> all right, all right, down we go, down we go into the core. If only, if only this game had any light landing maneuvers. Okay. Okay. It's like this game was like, accessibility who? What do you mean? What do you mean, accessibility? And why would we provide you with accessibility options? Who do you think you are? 
Okay, there's a ton to explore on this planet, so I just gotta get after it. I wish I had landed anywhere where I tried to land. But you know what? That didn't happen. That didn't happen, so... Nice, something to read. How do I do this? Note, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Ramey and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Energy lab. Okay, look. That's fine. That's all well and good. But I'm far more curious about that landed escape pod. That's what I want to know more about. The strange thing is that despite me not uh, making YouTube videos much, whenever I get bored, I just start writing video essays on my favorite video game. I think that's great. Okay, now this, this kind of thing looks very familiar. We've, we've seen plenty of those. I really want to find that escape pod, but I couldn't land my ship. Is there a reason for being down here? I don't think I want to be down here. Hang on, there's the escape pod! Well, look at that. I do want to be down here. We need status reports for all the systems, but initial things first. Is anyone unharmed? Or is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well, Anona. Everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude, but... Or Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. At this point, I have like a seven-part, three-hour-long essay on Devil Daggers. Tell me more about Devil Daggers. I don't even know what that is. Whoa. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. The heat from this star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter, Anona, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone, and be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Emergency escape. Need to find some oxygen soon. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage um, that appears promising. I believe we could construct long term shelter there. The cavern Malori found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I have left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand. Make sure no one is lost. Path to shelter somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions closely. You know what would be helpful? If you provided them. Now. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, and then turn left. Continue to the room filled with the rock column formations. Climb upward through the opening above them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a picture of that information. Thank you. 
Walk forward till you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left. Continue the room with rock column formations. Climb upward through the opening. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Okay, there's the sandfall. At the sandfall, take a left. Yes? Continue the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward. I do not have a lot of oxygen left, so I sure hope they've planted trees wherever this was. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Malori and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Yeah, it didn't last. Sure hope I am rewarded. Ow! There's some oxygen. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Um, is it up? Those look like, those look like plants. Yes! Oh, sweet Mary. All right. Um, hang on. Okay. Uh, would you like a long summary, medium summary, or short summary? Devil Daggers is an arena shooter survival game. Your goal is survive for 500 seconds, take one hit from an enemy, and you're dead, and you have to do it all again. It's some of the best mechanics I've ever seen. And innovates intro, very strategic gameplay while still being very simple. The enemies are dark, horrifying, and monstrous, yet simple and cartoony. Can you survive 500 seconds? I doubt you can even last a minute. Out of 300,000 people, only 100 succeeded in the task. Also, my favorite gameplay game of all time. Sounds kind of like Vampire Survivors, not going to lie. Anglerfish Overlook. Stepping Stone. High Energy Lab. Eye Shrine. All, right, well, all of those sound sort of helpful. I guess I'll go to number one. <laughs> oh, do tell what you just did. We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole, you'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish cave through the Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Taggett can't fit because the uh, anglerfish overlook hole because he grew bigger. He's taller than Larvae now. Who cares? Ilex is still tallest. Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into its mouth, it'll show you the way. Whew. Oh, this is too much. I don't even know if I need to do this stuff. That looks familiar. That looks very familiar, doesn't it? Stepping stone cave. On paper, yeah, they're the same. In execution, Double Daggers is a very different game. Like, there is much more strategy and much more precision needed. There are no extra characters, no unlocks, no save progress. The first run, same as the thousands. All that's needed to, to succeed is skill. This is not something like kind of game. FYI, now you're playing through the car, so say hello to my parents. Hello, parents. Hello, mother. Hello, father. 
He's fleas and ticks they really bother. That's why I'm riding K9 Advantix. Right, I saw light and I headed towards it. I don't know if I went the right way, the wrong way. Who could day? Who knows? Ooh. What is this? Oh, wait. Ah, that's where I just came from. Yikes, yikes. Good old Camp Granada. Well, mine was definitely just the K9 Advantix commercial. But yes. Um, my answer to the what you described sounds like not my kind of game because I'm not a very skilled human being. <laughs> Put heresies in the chat and make them read uh, to Trombone's parents. Yep. Okay, I'm beginning to feel like this might be a maze. Ooh. Is that where I just came from? Tis indeed. Um, I guess let's go fill up our oxygen real quick. I can take the steps, can't I? No, I can't. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe that's a waste of time. I don't know what to do. Who knows what to do? I can't go through there. Silly. Oh. 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 Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this is being su suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will, without question, destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Unsurprisingly, idea, I disagree. We're pushing a uh, possible new technology further than ever before. This, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand the proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in pie. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I, comp I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we built it, then I won't support the station's use. I'm beginning to piece together what happened. So what? Are, what is all this? Is there any reason? Oh, man, the sand is really filling it up quick, huh? All right, so we are running out of time. I guess the the this is the next thing closest to being filled up. What's in that room? I wonder. If only I could stop the sand. BRB, all good, Master Cat. What's that? Do I need the scout in there? There's no other way in. in there. Why can't I get in? Did I wait too long? It's the only logical reason I could think of. Oh man, this place is filling up quick. 
Ay, ay, ay! I guess let's go get some oxygen real quick. Alright, last room to really explore. Ouch. The gravity cannon. No, ghost matter, dude, come on. Oh, come on, dude. Is that down at the bottom, maybe? Do so I have to stay airborne? Fill up with sand. <laughs> Just in time to find it. Sun sure is awful close. If I'm running out of time. And the whole planet just fills up with sand. At least I'm getting much better at spacesuit travel. It's not my ship. What ship is it? What is that? What's up, church? Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna read through some comments because I've been paying too much attention. Okay, 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 okay. Scroll back up. <laughs> um, I mean, they'd probably be fans of the Burger King heresy, blasphemy, um, mayhaps. But I do have to say, uh, as long as there's enough practice and enough patience, anyone can make the five hundred. All it takes is dedication and learning the mistakes. Uh, what's the Burger King heresy? The blasphemy. Uh, I can't even say for fear of divine retribution that divine that Burger King is good or, or trash. Burger King is trash. Uh, it is absolute trash. It's garbage. They're all awful. None of them deserve to be eaten. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Don't even have the email anymore because I got busy. That's what she said. You mean that one? That's the one. Unfortunately, the only one I'll be streaming again is in the official church business, but I hope to stream some good community building content beyond games, but the games will be a part of that. Imagine. What's up, Alice? How we doing? Uh, looking forward to our next checkathon where I get to play It Takes Two with Nate. That'll be fun. Hey, Alice. Shout out, Alice in the Palace. What's up, Alice in the Palace? What's up? This guy just got groceries and something for lunch. Okay, back in the game. Whew. Hello, Chert. Huh? It's you. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass twi t Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hordfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so I came here to update them. But something seems, now to put this, off. And I've seen, what, 10 supernovae by now? 12? They're in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Was there something you needed? I found something. Please do tell. Never mind. Question for you. Why are there so many stars going supernova? I got no idea. Massive stars go supernova when they reach the end of their lifespan. So it's possible that these stars are older than we realized. Or maybe our models are wrong so they don't have as long to live as, pos as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun, nah, 
I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. Um, what are you doing out here? Well, it was. That is, I originally came out here to update the star charts. Now, though, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the stars. There are so many, too many supernova. Uh, what are, why are so many stars dying out? I've never seen anything like this. Frankly, I'm worried and a little scared. What should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bit. I don't mean to brag, but I'm actually quite good with a little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. That's a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there's one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout. It's because they're inside. So where'd they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. It is. Uh, how dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of 1 to dead, I'd give it a 7 or 8. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is overflowing from ash twin to ember twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay, bye. Um. Well. What signal's nearby that I'm not identifying? Curious. So uh, is it is it going to explode? Wait, how far are we from explosion? Because I'm so close to it that I don't even know when to expect the explosion. Where's my ship? 194 meters. Hmm. Well. I just don't know how much more time I have. That sun is awful big. And so I'm worried I don't have much time at all. How did Nora make out with her tonsils removal? Exceptional! She's done so good. Here's something else to explore while the sun explodes. Maybe. There may not be anything left to explore in here. What with it all being filled up with sand and all. Yep. I'd say we're out of time here. You have 22 minutes each cycle, so you could just set a timer. Nice to know. Thank you, Alice. I will do that. I mean, it just looks real big. I just feel like... I feel like we probably don't have much more time. I'm intuiting. <laughs> I'm just intuiting that... Well, the music hasn't started, so maybe we do. I don't know. You would think the music would have started. If anything too worrisome was happening. I guess I could check out that other planet. Oh, I need to restock on fuel. Oh. Aft hall and the upper hall. Do I have to do that before I leave? Probably better. Nope. Nope. I just really got a feeling I don't have enough time. <laughs> I'm just really, I'm getting a vibe. I just really, I'm picking up on a vibe. Whoa! Rocketeered away from that bad boy, huh? Could be a tricky landing. 
Way too early for a landing mode. What is happening? There's the music. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna crash into it. Because I simply do not have time for much else. <laughs> come on, come on. Yep, thank you for the lurk, sneaky. This looks familiar. How much more time are you going to give me, son? Can't help but feel like I don't have much more time left. Come on. Here's our first delivery, Yaro. <laughs> I don't know if it's paused or not. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to try to read what I can. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, no. You think it saved any of it? <laughs> okay. Rip. There was so much more to explore there. Try again. I might. I'm gonna go read through my log and see what notes I took. See if the notes help me to understand what I needed to do different. Boy, I discovered a lot that time, huh? So... The Sunless City was how they said to enter the... the thing, right? Didn't they say that? The sun, the city was how to enter the the something. Something was how the, something was only enterable via the sun, the city. Okay, okay, Google, set a twenty-two minute timer. Okay, Google, set a twenty-two minute timer. Hmm. Man, I don't remember, but I definitely remember something about the sun, the city. And it didn't have anything to do with... Hmm. Okay. I think I want to go to the other one, don't I? Is that the right one? Is it Ember Twin or Ash Twin? It's Ember Twin. Though I do feel like there's a significant, a significant amount of things to be explored on the Ash Twin once more sand fills things up. Okay, hang on. Did I ever explore that thing? Not again. I 
wish I could mark it. I'm sure there's a way. I'm so sure there's a way to mark it, but I just don't know how. Okay. Um, there it is. Okay, yeah, so I did look at this. It didn't really determine anything. I'm pretty sure I teleport back here. I've been here before, and I've been teleported here before. Interesting. Okay. So we gotta find the, uh, we gotta find the thing. It's gonna be the first thing we gotta do. We gotta find the thing. Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking of, right? Yes. Why do I have to read this again? The high energy lab, you have to go to the sunless city. That's what I knew. I knew that. Now I just got to remember how to get to the Sunless City. I know it was through the escape pod. I feel like I went the other way, though. Hold on a second. See what it is. I guess I'm going to mark the escape pod instead. Can I do that? No, I can only do that from the journal, huh? All right, well, I'm pretty sure it was this way, anyway. Go Gadget Go. I'm trying to remember where all the things are. There's so many things all over the place. So much to see, so much to do. Okay, back to the Sunless City. YOLO! Come on now. Okay, it was down this path. Doop a doop a doo. hole. This way. Take a little damage. Figure out where everything is. How? I don't know if it makes a difference if I do all of these things or if I don't do all these things and I'm literally just turning on the lights. Okay. I do remember there was something up here that I couldn't explore, right? No, no, no. No. Rocket! Go, go, rocket! Go, go, rocket! Do the thing! Controls this game. Continue to irk me! I gotta rocket all the way up now because I can't do the rocket now?
Rocket! Oh, I'm at the top. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. <laughs> Let me out of it! Let me out! Okay. There's the steps. Okay, I understood, I understood. I got it. I need to go refill my oxygen. Something I don't have time to do. Okay, wait, this is a door I haven't explored? That doesn't sound right. No, I've been in Stepping Stone Cave. Now, I understand there's a way to get from the fossil fish whatever from the Stepping Stone, but that's not really my priority right this second. I want to get into that place that I couldn't get into. And I assume I couldn't get in there because there was too much sand. That's the fossil fish thing. Is that the other entrance? Looks very familiar, but it's also destroyed. So does that mean I also I can't get in there from this this end? That's not kind. I read that one. Yeah. Well, fooey. It's no good at all. this the other one? No, where was it? I don't have time! I don't have time to not- No! I don't want to be in these rooms! Come on! I'm almost on rocket fuel. Here's oxygen, at least. <sighs> Shoot. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye isn't something good? What if the eye wanted that to happen? Well, these are the kids postulating here. Yeah, there's definitely ghost matter there, huh? No? Just all in there? Homie. What's back there to see? Is 
there any reason for me to be down here? Am I down here for a reason? Really, just here to see death and destruction, and then nothing more. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels, and we followed it here to find its source. What we know is this the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. I don't want any possibility. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? What's up, Emo? How we do? And did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did something happen to it? Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? Is, uh, could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We hope to be seeing... We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. How late are you streaming? To noon! Arrived home recently. My dinner is already being baked. I had a shorter day today. Wonderful, wonderful. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. You're kidding. That was it? I got. Hmm. I'm not going to say waste of time. But that was lore building, and that was it. The gravel thing. Okay, so this is where I launched at earlier, but there was too much sand, so I couldn't really get a vibe from it. But it did take me to the surface, and now I can go explore that other planet with a little more time. Too bad you missed noon. You will have to wait until the next one. Aw, oh, rats. Just got to stream for the rest of ever. It's fine. I have to stream until it's noon everywhere. Hmm. Interesting. Am I going to be able to make it out of this hole? I don't really have a lot of, uh, a lot of juice. Really running low on fuel. I got six minutes left. That's not a lot of time to explore the other planet, but it's not no time. So time is really of the essence to get there. I took the week off from work to have some rest from all the cable stuff. Then I remembered our church has a ton of VHS material waiting to be digitized, so I told my pastor I can help starting the work, but today I ran into storage issues, not enough space, so I had to stop earlier today. Got you, got you. I might have a raised suggestion for you. I don't know them super well, but they play re retro games and currently Super Metroid. Okay, cool. Well, just let me know.
I'm always down to try and raid somebody new. Okay. Let's refuel. Back into it. We're gonna go check out this other planet. With the little time we have. Crash landing. Crash landing. Crash landing. Crash landing. Imminent. Sorry, buddy, we just simply don't have time. Okay, and rocket. Too far. Overshot. Okay. Where was I last time? This does not look familiar. That doesn't make it any less important. Oof! Why? Who is this? Looks like another one of us. Nothing in here. Way up there. That's definitely a levitator thing. Whoopsie. Oh. Oh. Too far, too far, too far, too far. Too far. Where does the scroll go? Is there a scroll thingy down there? Did I miss it? Yo! Oh, there it is. Let's go, 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 go! We don't have a lot of time. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on uh, Ember Twin's equator. Didn't it say equator? Yeah. Uh, I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Rami found me, but the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically possible. Impossible. Okay. Hey, thanks for the follow, Ben Boone. Appreciate you. Whoa. 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 Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do at all. No. No! <laughs> no! No! Is that a thing? I thought it would kill me! I thought he said I would die! Aw, oh, gee whiz. I don't have time! I don't have time! I had so much more exploring to do! No! Oof. Oh, come on. No! Stop this nonsense! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Down we go. Into the pit! Oh, come on. I was so close. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, no! Oh, come on, man. I tried to rock it! Does left trigger not rock it? <sighs> Does left trigger not rock it? Man, I did it! I did, I did left trigger, I swear it. That was Garbo. That was some Garbo. You played a Gata Roboto last night and I love it. It's $2 on Steam and on eShop, you're a fool if you don't grab it. I would love to play that. I actually just heard a podcast about it very recently. What's up, Duck, by the way? Duck, are you here? Welcome in. Hey, you wear your pixel glasses wherever you want to, my friend. Okay, let's it up. Take the journal. See what we added to the list since last time. Nothing? Nothing. Did I run out of fuel? It looked like I still had fuel. Nothing? Why did I add nothing? I definitely did way too much exploring for there to be nothing. I think we can agree on that. I think we can all agree on that, okay? I think we can all agree. That I definitely did way more exploring to, to get nothing. I don't think so. 
Oh, things up. Oh, hang on. All right. <sighs> Back we go. Oh, okay, Google. 22 minute timer. Dude, I swear it. I swear it. I did not. I had rocket fuel. I think left trigger didn't work. Yo! Oh, no! Because there was something about the equator? Sure, dude. <laughs> sure! Why not, man? I hate this game. Uh, I really don't like the space travel. At all. Like, space travel? Objectively bad. Okay. Let's go for it. One more again. Looked away for half a second. What's that? satellite is this? Can I do anything with this satellite? What's the deal with the satellite? barrel. Outer Wilds Ventures. Oh, it's one of ours. What'd it do? I just want to know so many things about it. Why is it red? Do I do anything here? Is this just here? For reasons? Okay. I got real distracted by that, huh? I really wanted to know. I wanted to know so much more about that. Let's go somewhere else. I think I'm kind of done with the twins. We've not been to Dark Bramble at all. We've only got 30 minutes left, so we probably have time for one more day. One more explosion. Unless I die. <laughs> In the event that I die, 
So much for that. You just got the mug! All right! Very cool. I'm glad you like it. Hmm. And then I die, you'll make candles at the funeral. Perfect. Honestly, all I could ever ask. Not really seeing anything. Just kind of looks like a tree. Well, this looks like the biggest part of the tree. Yeah. My wife will probably let you have the cap. No promises one way or the other, though. Oops. It's on the polar polar opposite. If Nate dies, he'll be back. Yeah, with all of my lives. I guess let's just walk to the other end of the world. No big deal. NBD. Oof. Maybe a big deal. Maybe a big deal, actually. Uh-oh. 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 Things got a little out of control. Willikers. Uh, hmm. Well. This is a bit of a, this is a bit of a problem. Huh. That's gonna be, that's gonna be an issue. That's gonna be an issue. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit of an issue here. I'm going to try to land in the core. I'm going to miss. I'm going to hit this. <laughs> I hate this game so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. Oh my goodness. It's just... It just... It's like... It's like it doesn't want to be played. It's like a game that desperately wants you to fail and to not play it. It doesn't want to be experienced.
Like my my rage quit of this game really does it really doesn't surprise me. It genuinely does not surprise me. Wasn't there something on this planet? Let's try and explore it. And there's smoke right there. Let's be real right now. If this is the guy that's been missing, they truly did not look hard enough. Okay, good. Hey, you, hatchling, thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon. I didn't like it. I was seeing uh, in the pictures my little scout was taking, or sending back. Thought I'd come over here and see it for myself. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? I've never seen it on Timber Hurt before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, put down roots in a hurry. It don't look like this, uh, it don't like the look of this thing, hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'd uh, get a look at what's inside this seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking up there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to inside, but anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands in something that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Where's my scout? Where is my scout? <laughs> what? I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? You're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? This is a Dalek. Or uh, not a Dalek. It's a uh, timey wimey. It's the time machine. A Dalek on the mine. Bye, sneaky pig. Go to Costco. Enjoy your Costco visit. That sounds like fun. Try to chop up. Can we remove the seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I grab an extra, maybe an extra axe. Well, I gotta admit, I'm real tempted to jump on in now, but this is not what I'm here for. Yes, it is. That's where my boy is. He's in there. Well, better out than in, I always say. <laughs> How do I get in there? How do I get into that? I know. Wait for it to land and then find it again. Yeah? Is that a thing I can do? So it's landed now. Now I just gotta find it. Right? Easy. Maybe. Easy. Okay. Cool. And that's where I'll find my friend. Whoop. All right, let's restock on fuel. Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> Off we go. Now 
No, that's the escape pod. Our scout. Now I have somewhere to go on the Dark Bramble. Is that the thing that was shot out of the cannon? Or is that the interloper? Another time. Another time. Quote, add without the space. And you guys have been active in the chat, and I have not. This game requires me to pay too much attention. It's inside of there. It's inside the computer. So I gotta land on the core of this bad boy. Right? Right? inside the core of the bramble. I'm scared. I'm scared of the core. Into the breach. Where'd it go? Where'd my signal go? for this. Come on, come on. Come on. How do I, how do I aim? Oh, this is gonna fill me with rage if I get this close. I mean, I can't get in here. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man! hi ya yay Deeper still? I don't have the fuel! Am I falling? supposed to do about that? She's going to puncture my suit as soon as I get there. I guess there are other options. But what if they're just more of the same?
And if I go in there, it'll just try and do what, I, what it did the last time, don't you think? I guess let's just go check out another one. Understand what I'm seeing. like turtles all the way down right now. Oh, where's my camera? Uh-oh. Might have got a little hot. Uh-oh, bye-bye. Wait a second. That looks like what I took a picture of. That's like that, that's what I took a picture of. Come on, come on! Don't you dare! This, 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 this. Hey, buddy. What's up, Feldspar? Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one comes in here. Well, never actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say it's you. They made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. You've been in Dark Bramble all this time? Depends on how long all this time is. I've been here a while, I guess. Ever since my, uh, I crashed my ship into the, whatever that thing is. Ever since my daring escape from the jaws of an anglerfish. Tell me about your flying prowess. <laughs> you flatter me. I like it! My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep. I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one ever had before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, easy mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I ran into this huge anglerfish. You've seen them? Big, gnarly things. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. Going full speed when the fish clips me. Knocks me into a vine, and well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact! My ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, ain't that great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor, fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. Found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So, I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire does not go anywhere. I found something. Oh, I didn't even read what it was! The infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick-like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And I tell you what, we Harthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Gotcha. Where should I explore? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that the space is weird here intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See, see there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, and I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space don't work right here. That seed looks small, see, but inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep in mind that while you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. 
You reached the core? How did you do it? Uh, that was a wild one, but since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yet yourself. If I tell you how, it kinda feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, there was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the tail end of that a of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Where's your ship? Not far from here, the anglerfish. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, what happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. I, as far as I can tell, this anglerfish might have been chewing on the vine and eating a seed, and then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? This skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, whatever. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quite peacefulish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure, being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. Perfect golden toast. Mm, yeah. You have set it on fire. Okay. Wait, why is there still harmonica going? Why am I floating? Interesting. All right, well, that is all we have time for today, but I'm very curious about all of this. Um, I wish that I had more time to go and try and find his ship. I'm very curious about the fact that the harmonica is still coming through that seed. Is it not you? I thought you were the harmonica. Curiouser and curiouser. All right. Oh, wait, is that the hollow branch? No. Is that the hollow branch? Yep. I don't have time! I've got to go. All right, we'll go a little long. We'll go a little long. We'll go a little long. I need to know what's inside this thing. I don't have time for this. He didn't say which way to go. Stop, stop, stop. I'm assuming this is going to take me to the core of Giant's Deep. You gotta go where? Nowhere better than here. Hey, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. Ayo! 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 No, I gotta go get work done is what I gotta go do. Trip number four, crash. I'm not gonna say number one. Crash is three. Boring crash is zero. Personal best. Whoa ho! Never thought I'd see one of those beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Ugh, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides without being zapped by electricity. Right. Go inside the jellyfish's interior cavity to see what it tastes like better. Do not eat this even if you are dying! It would be too sad if it were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only used for insulation and electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. Jono is streaming today. K's underscore zero is my recommendation. Can't recall if they're family friendly. Ay yi yi. I need to end the stream. 
I've got to go get work done. And this actually has not been as helpful as I needed it to be. Maybe I needed to go the other way in the giant tree thing? worth a try. I don't have a lot of fuel. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, there was no other way. Was there? Big sad. All right. Well, then I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we can reset the loop. Do I still get the information if I reset the loop? Because, I mean, ostensibly, I just die no matter what, right? That's kind of the thing. It's kind of the way this game works. You kind of just die. All right. I wish there were save points. I think we're just going to call it a day right here. Unless there was anything else I could tell Feldspar. Okay. So we're going to call it. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We are really a church. Wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was something different there. So the old thing is still there, is it? That's where I first camped out of the crash, you know? It's still pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and dominal spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Okay. Very cool. Folks, we're Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate, really a pastor in this community. We're continuing uh, to play games like Outer Wilds and whatever we kind of feel like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every other Friday here on the stream. Um, we would love to have you join us any of those times, all of those times, any of those days, um, few and far between, whatever we're doing. Um, it's almost a new year. It's almost a new year. Can you believe that? I will see you guys in the new year. The next time we stream will be next Monday, and it will, well, maybe next Monday. I think next Monday, and it will be 2023. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty exciting. So this will be our last raid of the year, and um, Trombone recommended K0. We'll do, we'll do Jono next time, Alice, if you remind us. If you're still there and remember. Uh, but we're going to go raid. K0 playing Super Metroid. If you do me a favor, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, that God loves you. Number two, that we love you. Number three, that you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. If you would let our friend K0 here know that they matter uh, and that Super Metroid is an excellent game and that we're excited that they're playing it. Um, I appreciate everybody hanging out with us today. Thanks for tuning in, being a part of the stream. Um, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Appreciate you. Be well. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Just go spam some you matters in the chat. Let them know that they matter. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. I'm a little out of, I'm a little out of sorts. That game has got me out of sorts, dude. That game has got me out of sorts. Get a raid command. I'll work on it. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, it's just you matter. Would it just pull up and then you can copy paste? We'll think about it. All right, folks, be well and spam some you matters in the chat of our new friend K0. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.